Oh my god, what's up guys, EMG Smash Central here, and I'm so excited, I finally got my hands on Pokemon Sun, and I'm extra excited because I just spent like two hours trying to hook up all this capture gear, so now I'm on like an adrenaline rush, because you know, I just accomplished something super difficult, so I'm really excited, and I haven't even started the game yet, I wanted to share all my Pokemon Sun experiences with you guys, so we are about to get started, let's do this. I haven't even loaded up the game yet, so uh... Holy crap, I just freaked out. I thought my game crashed or something. I had to end the recording, but we're back in. This is the very next screen that showed up, and, uh, holy. I thought I was in for some trouble. I thought, like, I had, like, uh... I don't know. I thought something was wrong with my game, and I was gonna have to take it back, and we weren't gonna be able to start this off. But, we are here. I have a message from the Alol Alola region zone, Professor Kui. Oh my god, this is so dope so far. Pokemon has come so far. Hang on now, just give me a sec. Give me just a sec. Reverse those words. Hey there, good afternoon. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. You'll find them all over in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps, too. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? Oh my goodness, this is so cheesy, but I love it. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So, which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Oh god, I'm not ready to take a photo. Is it gonna 3DS cam me right now? Oh, okay, good. Whew. That was a close one. I was totally not ready for a photo. Um, if this is a dude, it might be the closest to the kind of hairstyle thing I got going on, plus the eye color. So, uh, yeah, we'll go with this one. Do the whole name thing. Alright. So, you go by Steven, yes sir. 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know you're on the way. Steven. Alright. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Anyways. Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. This guy's kinda cool. I like him. He's a bit, uh, he's a bit quirky. He's a bit, uh, overexcited for my liking, says my name kind of weird. I don't like it. Steven, come help me with these boxes. Alright, moving day as usual. First day of a new Pokemon game. Gotta get them moving to the new house, new region, whatever it is. What is going on? What are we zooming in on here? I thought there was going to be like a, a dope opening cinematic right at the start, which is why I wanted to start everything right from the beginning with you guys and record. But maybe this is the opening cinematic now. It might just be like a regular old cutscene. Maybe this game doesn't have like a opening cinematic. Or maybe I'll get to watch it afterwards since like the game kind of did that whole black screen thing and I had to select the language. I don't know. We'll see. She's running from these guys. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who she is, who they are. We're about to find out though. I assume. And she's got some rare looking Pokemon in her bag. Dope ass Pokemon tote uh, luggage bag thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know why people always like cover their eyes when stuff like that happens. Like, if the person that's doing it isn't covering their eyes, do you think the explosion is really gonna like blind you? You know? I mean, they're right in the thick of the explosion, and they're just, like, standing there, and everyone else is covering their eyes. Like, guys, don't you want to watch what happens? See what goes on? Like, they, they totally missed the, uh, the whole intro there. They missed the whole poem on Sun and Moon subtitle. They were covering their eyes. But here we see the regions of Alola. Uh, when I picked up my pre-order, I got a couple nice posters. One of them had, uh, a map with all the different islands as well, and I love, um like video game maps. I love fictional maps of uh, places that are really detailed and uh, that poster does not fail to impress, that's for sure. Hopefully you guys got a bunch of posters and uh, a button or two as well if you got a pre-order. 
If not, I can always make a video showing off all my goodies. Just let me know. Ah, Mom, can't you just feel the warmth? The first day spent under a Lola sun. Alright, so we just moved in. It's so warm and bright here, but that's enough of that time to unpack all these boxes. And Mama's got a Meowth. Sounds just like Pokemon Go Meowth. But I guess all uh, the Pokemon Go cries are taken from, I think it was like the first or second generation, something like that. The Pokedex there. Makes sense it'd be like Gen 1. But uh, they sound a bit updated. I think they might be like Gen 2 cries, but we'll see. I mean, while well, we won't see, I can just Google that after. It's Pokemon Go shit, but... Alright, here I am, taking a snooze. I only got one flat pillow. I like two pillows when I sleep, get my head nice and propped up. What's this Meowth gonna do to wake me up? Yo, throw some money at me. I could use that first day on the road. Hit me with a payday. Give me some money. What's going on? What do I gotta do? Nothing's happening. I'm, I'm like, hitting the A button. Oh, I gotta, I gotta control stick this bad boy. Okay. Alright, alright, what's up, Meowth? Just doing your thing. Alright, let's check around my, my room for a sec. Cute stuff, Pikachu doll. I got a Nintendo Wii U. Dope! My room is ballin'. What's in this book here? Oh, my father gave me this. Adventure rule number one. Open the X menu with the X button. Adventure rule number two. Record your progress with save. Thank you. Alright, so, so far I have nothing really in my menu. And it uh, looks like I'm supposed to go into these boxes. Or not? That's all it, it that's all it says? Where's my computer at? I'm trying to withdraw a potion before I get on the road here. What where where are them potions at? I need them free potions. I've been playing a lot of uh, Pokemon Yellow on my phone lately just to kinda get myself excited for this game. And uh, in the first two or three generations of Pokemon I think, there's always uh, a uh, potion you can withdraw in your PC in your bedroom. So, Steven, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course. That's right, I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the, in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly. I didn't hear no doorbell. That's gotta be the prop, though. We'll get to see him again. He already, I guess, uh, met us in our dreams in our little intro there. I'm never really sure when. Uh, I'm never really sure when the uh, the whole conversation is ended and I can start moving around again. It's not exactly obvious, or maybe I'm just like too excited at this whole new game vibe and I'm just like not paying attention. But we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. I think. I think as the game goes on, uh, I might just chill out a bit and uh, be a bit more observant. But right now. I'm just, I'm just in amazement and shock and awe. New game, new feel, new vibe, everything. So, super exciting. Just the welcome, the usual stuff. Oh, I still remember see, seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago. Okay, so we got some, uh, some lore, some connection going on here. I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto Gym Leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, Steven. Let's get a move on to the next town over. Time for you to meet the island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon. Yeah. What's a Kahuna? Yeah, let's get some knowledge about this. I was watching all the uh, trailers and I tried to tune into the uh, the Treehouse presentations and whatnot. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. And the Kahuna, who lives in Iki Town, is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon. So yeah, I was tuning into uh, some of the streamed events and I learned a little bit about this game. But when all those leaks went down uh, a week or so ago, I tried to stay away from them because I don't want to spoil the entire game for myself. Uh, I didn't see the entire Pokedex. I still want to meet some new Pokemon that I've never even seen before, not even pictures, and it's going to be awesome. So I got to go back into my room and grab some crap that I left in there, probably in that box that it wouldn't let me open before. Yeah, so it is kind of weird. Like, the conversation just ends, and the camera doesn't really, like, pan out enough you to like really realize that like oh conversation's done but uh, I don't know it'll probably be something you get used to all right finally I can get out my crap my bag and my hat fresh kicks fresh bag I guess I was already wearing kicks just a fresh bag and a fresh hat got that fitted actually I'll turn around we'll see if it's a snapback or a fitted
joking. Professor's flirting with my mom as usual. If you look ready for anything now, have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Cool. I'm gonna go get a starter. I think I already know which one I'm gonna choose. And uh, if you if you know a little bit about me, you probably know which one I'm gonna choose as well. So uh, I'll leave that as a surprise. We'll go see. We'll go see what it's like uh, seeing the new Kahuna and all that jazz. So your mom there, she's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get going to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. I I'm extremely excited, as you guys can tell. Let's see if my mom has any last words before I head out. She wants to have another Pokemon around the house. That's the thing with my mom. Like even even in the previous games, even in the Pokemon anime, once she gets her hands on a Mr. Mime, it's just always doing housework and stuff for her. So she always just wants Pokemon to help around the house. They're like her little little children now that you've uh, left left the nest, you know? Alright, so we picked the right direction. Probably would have been a dead end going the other way. So uh, it's giving us a little intro to Alolo once again. You can go anywhere as long as you've got Pokemon, and that's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. Alright, first off we're going to Iki Town. Alright, so he's basically repeated the same stuff like three times now. That's alright. I still like him. Let's talk to this kid here. Hey you, you look like you're having a good time strolling around Alola. You want me to dash around? You you make me want to dash around too. And I bet it can go even faster than you. Holding B will make me a B dasher. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so. I can already start running. Route 1, can't go anywhere. I'm gonna go up the street. It's really cool. Really nice uh, graphics and landscape, 3D movement and whatnot. I thought I started talking to this guy already. Uh, you can a simple button and you can trade. Ooh, I got a bag now. All right, I put my bag on. Everything's empty though. Boring. No bueno. No free potions. I want the free potions though. Where are all the free potions at? All right, so maybe one of the professor's buddies or one of the Kahuna dudes or give us a free potion or something. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go with the bottom option this time. Alright, you gotta recommend, recommend another move for me sometimes. Uh, you already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. Alright, a little random conversation, just wasting my time. I'm trying to get my first Pokemon, this is a brand new game, like, what's the hold up here? Yeah, I could dive into the tall grass, try and catch some wild Pokemon to add to my collection. I know! So give me my Pokemon already. Then trainers go up against one another in battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, young goose! <laughs> young goose sound effects. Insert here. How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in? Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people. Now let's get moving. Eek Town is right over here. Finally! There's a shiny Pokeball item drop in the grass over there by that girl. Gotta go peep that later. I was hoping he'd let me uh, run over and get it, but I guess I can't run into the tall grass without my own Pokemon. So let's do it! Let's get one! This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that wash it, watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? I don't really see. I just saw a dark, creepy, scary forest. Oh my god, this guy keeps forgetting what we're here to do. Oh my goodness. Steven, do me a solid and go find the island Kahuna. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't miss each other. Alright, cool. The island Kahuna, you can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. I don't know what a Kahuna looks like. Those are the... Oh my goodness. Alright, those are the worst instructions ever. But uh, I guess we'll check everywhere. He's probably way up the path, though. We'll just check in here first, talk to these people, see if they give us some free potions, because I'm trying to get them free potions, you know? And, uh, and yeah. So, okay, so no free potions. Let's just go straight up the hill, then. I don't want to go into every single house. He's probably not in one of these houses. He's probably just way at the top of this path. There we go. Question mark. Oh, there's that chick from the intro. Really, you want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. Oh, she's talking to her little Pokemon thingy. It's a legendary thing, and we gotta follow her! We gotta follow her! Don't talk to that guy. 
We gotta get this Pokemon fast. We're like 15 minutes into the game already. Don't have a Pokemon. Feels bad, man. And uh, it's just all uphill. Like We've been going uphill this entire time. But no potions. No free potions. Feels bad. Question marks. Alright, so we're on the right track. We're, uh, yeah. No one can see that thing. It's like super secret legendary Pokemon thing. I think that, uh... That might be... Um, something that, like, turns into... What happened to my bottom screen there? Is my bottom screen good? Yeah, it's just black. Okay, we're good. It might turn into one of the, like, the legendaries. Like the sun guy or the moon guy. Probably the moon guy. Looks like the moon guy. Oh, snap! Spiro attack! Where's Pikachu when you need him? It's like first episode of Pokemon all over again. Just my headset. One sec. Sorry, guys. Oh, what is this? No valid data. This is creeping me out. This is creeping me out. Oh my god, there. Okay. So, uh, I guess my 3DS capture thing, like, I don't know, lags a bit when, like, a cutscene starts? I don't know. I don't know. Or ends? We'll see. We'll roll with it, guys. We'll roll with it. Who are you? Never mind me. You have to help it. Please, save Nebby. Why does it give me, like, text for the Pokemon sound effect if it just makes the sound, you know? Those Spearow are attacking it, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Yeah, because you've been running from friggin' security guards for an entire intro. Oh, wow. The camera changed, like, super quick. Am I supposed to go, like, really slow? Can I creep? Can I creep walk? No, I can't creep walk. I just gotta go. I just gotta go for it, man. Run at them, Spearows. I wish Spearow got like a new Alolan form, because Spearow's pretty boring. Like, no one really wants a Spearow. When I find Spearows in Pokemon Go, I'm just like, god damn, these things are going to take like 50 candies to evolve into a Spearow that I'm never going to use anyways. Like, they're not even good for leveling up with friggin' Lucky Eggs. Friggin' Spearows! Alright. So, Tapu Coco, or whatever his name is, saved the, uh, the Cosmo Pokemon Sprite Moon thingy. And we live it. Oh. Alright, peace. He outy. He doesn't want to chill. He did his job. He's out. He's on break now. Thank goodness you tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. You were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. Ooh, some, uh... We're learning a lot here about these two. What is that? So she has some crazy power. Last time she used it, made her like immobile, like she was just she couldn't move. Sparkling stone feels almost warm somehow. And last time she used her power, she had to save this chick from something. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Yeah, still. Who are you? Once again, who are you? I think this stone must belong to you. Why are you dodging the question? I asked you twice now. Alright, she just gives it to us. Sparkling stone. Uh, okay, it's in my key items pocket. Alright, can't tell anyone about seeing Nebby. She's a super secret Pokemon thing being. Can't tell anybody about her. It. He. They. I don't know. I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? Girl, please! I'm trying to get my first Pokemon! Like, I've been playing this game for 20 minutes now. What's well, Gucci? I need a Pokemon. You got your super rare thing. It has some, like, crazy power that saved you and made it, like, not move for, for ages. I, I, I got Jack. I don't got anything. There, oh, no, that's the professor again. Alright, so I missed the kahuna, but I found the professor's assistant. Nice. And her name is Lily. 
He just moved here to Alola. Take good care of him. That is me. He's talking about me, not her. So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Yes, our guardian's chosen one is back. I can now get my Pokemon. Yes. He's one of the strongest Pokemon users in all of Alola. Well, I guess. They're like... The four Kahunas are like the four Elite Four. But there's no gyms anymore. It's just those four. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Have I missed something? Nah, but where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I'm Kahuna of the island, after all. Whenever there's a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Owned! Story, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Yes, yes. Nebby was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this boy helped it get away, but the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine, and then that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Whew, that's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature, yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I should entrust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. What? So I'm only getting a Pokemon because I helped the assistant? I thought I was getting a Pokemon regardless. Oh no, he was told I was coming. Okay. Alright. Nice. Started Pokemon time. 20 minutes into the game. I mean, I guess I wasted a little time walking around and talking to people and stuff, but you gotta explore a little bit. So we got Rowlet. Litten and Poplio? Yeah, Poplio. Bwark? Nah, no Bwarks. Alright, guys, the moment of truth. Do you guys know who it is? Oh, make a prediction in the comments and then you can double check to see if you're right. No cheating, though. So, three, two, one. Oh, I'm gonna go with the grass type. As planned. All planned from the beginning. I choose the grass type in uh, every game except for Gen. Four, I think it is with Mudkip because I love Mudkips and uh, Trico's kind of lame. I mean, Sceptile's really cool, but Trico's kind of lame. So, there's that. But yeah, grass types in every game except Mudkip because I love Mudkips. So, let's see if this little Rowlet there also decides to choose you. Alright, cool. So, I can't just forcefully enslave this cute little bird. He's got to make a choice, he's got a gaze fix on me. Or gaze fixed. Some dyslexia happening today. Oh, he's so cute. Everyone's so happy. You lifted Rowlet gently in your arms. With that epic music in the background. Sweet. Cuckoo. The grass type Pokemon Rowlet looks a bit tickled. Oh, so little Rowlet has accepted you as well, Steven. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Dope. Oh, should we nickname stuff? Nah, let's not nickname stuff. It's a bunch of new Pokemon. I'm going to forget their names as it is. I already forgot what that dog thingy was. It was like Rock Rough or something like that. So, uh, it's good to keep uh, nicknames off for now. Just so I can kind of learn these Pokemon. <laughs> this thing's always escaping out of her bag. Alright, so she's got to stay out of sight. It's safer that way, she says. So, there's something very special about that little guy they have there. And, uh, yeah. So now that I've got a real Pokemon, I'm a real Pokemon trainer. Here's a lovely gift from me to help make it a special... Oh, I, was, I thought it was going to be a special occasion. Help make it even more special, cousin. Cool little Pokedex. Looks kind of lame can, compared to the old school Pokedexes. But, uh, I don't know. Call me a hipster. Trainer passport. Thank you very much, sir. Go introduce my new friend to my mama. Oh, like my Pokemon friend. Okay, I got it. I was like, oh, this 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 chick's gonna come with me? Alright, cool. But nah, he means my Pokemon friend. So I'm just gonna run back home. Uh, apparently not. Oh, it's my rival. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. Dahaha, <laughs> what's the fire, boy? And what kind of Pokemon battle would that be? When you don't even give a name first, eh? This is probably the Kahuna's, like, grandson or nephew or something. His name's How, and his partner's Poplio. Your Rowlet looks really cool, too. 
Uh, thanks. Give him a little sass. Yeah, so let's do battle. I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town, so I've been looking all over for you. I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Is there a type of Pokemon battle where they can't get hurt? I guess in like, like the Orange League, how they had like different kind of skill competitions. Those are, I guess, battles if you want to put them that way, but Pokemon don't actually attack each other. Anyways, um... Oh, I get to choose? Dope. Alright. Very first battle. Let's go, guys. Perfect way to end the episode. Oh, my goodness. It's been a it's been a long ride. 20 minutes to get my first Pokemon. But the excitement has finally been quenched. And uh, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to keep going. Bomb screen doesn't seem to be used for much at all. Uh, we'll see. It's probably going to be like attacks. Yeah, there we go. It's the UI with the attacks and stuff. Oh, we got little sprites on the bottom screen as well. Let's see what this move does. Leafage or leafage? Okay, pretty good. Super effective. I thought the rival was supposed to. Uh, these icons all look really good. I like this. What happened? Oh, I can see stats. If you tap. Oh, I can't see their stats though. Oh, I don't even. It doesn't even show my stats. Oh, but you get to see the special abilities as well. That is really cool. And uh, it just said there in the top corner there, L plus A for the move info. So we gotta check some of those out now. But yeah, like I was about to say, it's really cool that you can see um, the special abilities and like the information about the Pokemon and stuff too. Because that's kind of stuff that, uh, like if you're not uh, like a competitive player and you don't have all that stuff memorized, or you can just tap the info icon and you get all that information as well. But yeah, if you're not a competitive player and you don't like memorize what every move does and what every Pokemon's special ability is, you kind of have like a setback. So. That's really good. It kind of kind of gives people um, access to all the information they really need to make the right decisions when they're battling. So uh, I like that a lot. Really great user interface. I haven't even seen all uh, all that this game has to offer in UI so far, and uh, that's awesome. Super stoked. Ooh wee! That gave me chicken skin. Steven Wright, your Rowlet was awesome. I guess by chicken skin he means, he means goosebumps? Now that settles it, I'm going all out tomorrow. So we're going to battle again tomorrow. Uh, would you be so kind to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Hey, it's not mine, man. She put it in my bag, I swear, man. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Steven? Yeah, it rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Stephen, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow the stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. Dope. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. So uh, the deity Pokemon dropped a little present for me. First, I'll make sure to get you back home safe. And Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day, you or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep an eye on... Da, da, da. Once again, out of the bag, walking around. Of course. Alright, so we're back at my crib, I think. Shay Steven. Yeah. Welcome back, Steven. So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. I got a little Rowlet, and if that Meowth is anything like Sylvester, that Rowlet is going to have a hard time hanging out with it. Uh, why did you choose the Sweetheart? Because it's cute, obviously, and because it's a grass type, and I uh, love them grass types. Hopefully, like uh, previous Pokemon games, the grass type will level up a little bit faster than the others. Kind of why I like it so much, and just because Bulbasaur is so awesome, uh, Tricker Chikorita turns into Meganium, which is super dope, and uh, just keeps getting awesome. Just more and more awesome as you go on, you know? What a stunning sunset. Alright, today is the day that I finally unpack. What was that doorbell? Go see who it is, Steven! Man, 
Almost always making me get the door. God damn. It's like just a just a mama's house IRL, you know? I don't even get to the door. I always get to like the edge of the kitchen table and then this dude like busts in my house. I am not about that life. That is rude. Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon and all, I've gotta show you something. Come with me out to Route 1. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Meow. That is totally not the sound effect he made. I don't know why they write that out. But, oh my goodness, what an adventure so far. This game looks awesome. I am super excited to uh, check out everything else it has to offer. I'm just going to explore. Oh, that's my mom's bedroom, I guess. Explore around a little bit. Can't really interact with anything in here. But yeah, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. And uh, be sure to join me on the following episodes. I'm EMG Smash Central. Make sure to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.